What is up, folks? Professor Pickles here coming at you with a Brothers War set booster box. Um, I've been meaning to open this for a while. As y'all can tell, the collector box video came out earlier this week, um, and I've been sitting on this one. So we're going to get into it here and uh, see what we can pull. There are some uh, good mythics in this set. Not so much on the rare front, but uh, still some cool cards we can pull, especially in set packs. You never know what you're going to get there. So, uh, yeah, we do also have an arena code to give away. This one's a classic. Looks like it's from Midnight Hunt, actually. Um, still in standard, though, for uh, a little bit more here. So, yeah, if you'd like to be answered to win the arena code, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below letting me know your favorite poll from today's video. And let's get into it here. Start off with a signed card, very nice. And uh, even if you don't want the arena code, please do also consider you know leaving a like and a comment. And it helps out so much as far as the YouTube algorithm goes, you know, being a smaller channel and everything like that. We have a precursor golem, tome, and our first rare is Tokasia's Welcome. And a foil at it. Pull tabs. Pull tabs are so much easier to open than the other ones. We've got a forest foil. This set was a cool set, but I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I drafted a lot of uh, Dominaria United, but I didn't do too much of this. I don't think I've gone to a single draft actually. I went to quite a few pre-release events, but then I just got busy with other things. But it seemed like it'd be a fun draft, at least, uh, you know, from what I experienced in pre-release. Rescue Retriever, go in your dog deck or your soldier deck. And a Foundry Inspector, Ooh, double rare, Kayla's Reconstruction. Whoa, Foil Muriel, this is actually one of the better mythics. Wow, great pull here. Awesome, that's really cool to see. And an Urza's Factory for a list card. Throw our list cards right there. All right, nice, great foil mythic. Start off the video. Cannot complain about a foil mythic, especially when it's a good one. Ornithopter and a perennial behemoth. separate note though. All right. A foil planes. Okay, so yeah, this is I was looking at this the other video. So that that when we got in the last video it was a misprint because it was like completely white. This little mech guy in here it was completely white. It didn't have any kind of like, you know, definition or anything at all to it. Interesting. Go look at that if you haven't seen it. It's in the uh it's in the collector box opening that I posted on Monday. Um, of the week if you're watching this you know right when it comes out this should be coming out on a friday this video so yeah go check it out my uh, bro other brother's war opening that was 100 percent a misprint then because that one looked weird both of them in that video looked really weird icker wellspring a meditation harvester let's see and then we have a devoted druid for the list card from ultimate masters that's a throwback have a regular full art. Oops. Okay. Rune Chanters Pike. For the rare. And a platoon dispenser. Okay. I mean this one. I had this card in one of my uh one of my pre-release events, and I mean it was pretty good and limited. I'm not sure how good that card is in you know, in constructed, but unlimited is pretty nice. You either get to draw or or make some dudes, I believe. No, not or you get to draw if you have two more creatures, and you get to make dudes if you have some mana to pay. I mean, I liked it. I had a good time with it. Well of Lost Dreams, Elsewhere Flask, and a Brushland. One of the pain lands. And we have a Force of Vigor. Ooh, this is a good one, isn't it? I know the forces have been, uh, you know, going up in value a bit. Obviously, force of negation, but 
I think Vigor might be up there too now, a little bit. I don't know. I'll have to check it out after the video, but not a bad card though for the list slot. There's been a, a few duds in today's video here. But so far, I mean, pretty good overall opening. Ooh, we have a full art maybe in the back. Sigil of Valor. Cityscape Leveler. Big Boy. If you can get him out, it's bad news bears for your opponent. Mishra's Foundry. Oof, and that is just a full art. One of the reminder, not reminder, what are they called? They're called reminder cards, right? Or something like that. You can use those for your dual faces. Or you can, uh, you know, just uh, take a Sharpie and uh, create your very own dual land or something. Cyclonus for our Transformers card. Spring Leaf Drum. Oh, sorry. Let's see what this flips into. Oh, as I throw it, it flips into a jet. I feel like a lot of them flip into jets. Drafna. And a Reconstructed Thopter. And Aboshun. This is the throwback. What set is that from? Um, doesn't say. I don't know that symbol. But maybe Portal Three Kingdoms, maybe? Something like that. Interesting. I'm not sure how good that card is. I mean, tap all creatures without flying. It's not terrible. For the right deck, right? I mean, any any card can work if you can make it make it fit in a specific deck, especially in Commander. Ash Nod. That doesn't flip, right? No. All right, we are one third of the way through here. So far, pretty good first third of the box. Got that foil mythic. And, you know, a couple other good ones as well. Potentially the Force of Vigor. Um, okay, you got an Ivory Tower. Ooh, Awaken the Woods, another great mythic. Very nice. Carrion Locust. Another Blueprint. Full art, art card. Mishra's Bobble, always will see play. Ooh, and a Mishra claimed by Gix. Wow, we're getting all the good mythics here. Amazing. Coastal Bulwark. Maybe a cute little Thopter token. Foily. Junkyard Genius, Soul Guide Lantern, another card that I'll always see play, especially in sideboards. Thran Spider, and a Tocasius Onulet. Onulet? Onulet? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Mox Amber, boom, another good hit. Very nice. Amazing card in Commander. Swiftfoot Boots, another very playable card. And a Hall of Tagsin. Not sure if this is seeing much yet. It's kind of meh, but maybe somebody will find a way to break it. That's the cool thing that I really like about, one of the cool things I really like about Magic is that, you know, a card can be, you know, very bad. No, see, no play right when it's first printed, and then, you know, a few sets, a few years even later, something comes out and just totally breaks it open, and then, you know, skyrockets in value and, and, and all that. I think that's super cool, and, you know, I really like that compared to other collectible card games. You know, it's they actually have, uh, you can actually play with them, and they actually see value because of their play. That's awesome. The Temporal Anchor and a Dissident. All right, pretty much halfway through here. If you're still with me, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully we can uh, continue the streak of good mythics and good pulls into the close. Mistress Bobble again. Can't complain. Mightstone Weakstone. I mean, it's one of the better rares. There's not too many rares of value in this set. I think Diabolic Intent is the most expensive rare at about eight or nine bucks as the filming of this video. Yeah, this set wasn't great for rare value, but, you know, there's there's a few mythics worth worth something. As we get a Caged Sun, very cool mythic there. I mean, this, is, this card definitely sees some plain artifact decks and everything in Commander. Talisman, and a Gwenna. Ooh, and a 
foil burnished heart for a retro frame foil. Very cool. If you only get one for the box though, probably not the best one we could have gotten <laughs> by a long shot, but maybe we'll get another one, you never know. Saw again, the Simeon Simulacrum, and a Power Stone Engineer, and a Dragon from Masters 25. Very cool. I'm thinking about building, so far I only have one Commander deck. I don't get to play too often, so you know when I do play, I kind of just play this one, but it's my Sliver deck. Um, nice full art. But, you know, I've been thinking about building, I either want to build a, you know, a, a dragon deck with the Ur-Dragon as the commander. I believe Ur-Dragon is one I want to use as commander. Door to Nothingness, <laughs> interesting. And a Platinum Angel, wow, great, a great pack there. Platinum Angel definitely sees play. Um, yeah, either, either the Ur-Dragon, kind of, you know, Elder Dragon, all that fun, five color fun. Um, or I want to build a Rogak and... Uh, it's a partner deck, I believe, but the the equipment deck with all the different equipments that you attach and just go crazy with that. I think that's a lot of fun. So we'll see. Eventually, I'll get around to that. I actually also have all the cards I need for a, a Sika, uh, you know, the, the Planeswalker deck there. So I got to put that together as well because I have all the cards. I just have been slow lazy lately. Self-Assembler and Ursa's Command. Whoa. And a Foil Portal to Phyrexia. Isn't this another one of the good mythics? Holy, I think it is, right? I believe it is. I know I pl I've played this card before in Limited. It's unreal if you get it out. Um, okay. In the Web of War. Very nice. All right. Oh, there goes all the commons. It had to happen eventually, right? All right, let's pick them up here. The pile isn't even that high yet. We're going to keep it. I believe in myself. All right, Mountain. Brushland, okay, this is our second Brushland. This time a full art one, very nice. Scrap Trawler and a Blast Zone. I'm so surprised they reprinted this one. That card had a lot of hype when it first came out, but it's kind of died down. Ooh, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. That's a good hit. Very nice. Great list slot hit there. That card 100% sees play. <laughs> Very essential combo piece for Commander. Demolition Field. And a Ratchet Field Medic. Okay. Ambulance. <laughs> Very cute. Burnished Heart. And a Kayla's Command. And a Foil Manowar Waste. All right. And a Heartless Hitetsugu. That's Portal 3 Kingdoms. I'm not sure what that other... Maybe not. No, is that Conspiracy? I don't know. No, it's not... I don't know. All these set symbols. I'm not too familiar with the older ones. Sculpting Steel. Chromatic Star. And a Skitter Beam Battalion. Another fun one. This one, uh, if you play it for 9... I had that in one of my uh, pre-release decks, and... Uh, that was crazy when I, you know, I played it for, for nine mana, got three or how many? Uh, yeah, three, four, fours with Trample and Haste. That, uh, I won that game, needless to say. The Fall of Krug. Static Net and an Icker Wellspring. And Razor Lash Transmogrant. Another Gix. Disciples of Gix. A lot of, lot of with Gix in this set. Art, very nice. Sardian Cliff Stomper. Millstone, classic card. And a Fauna Shaman. I mean, that could actually, that's not a bad card in Commander. Discard a creature, search life for a creature card. I mean, that's, that's the same ability as um, that one enchantment. Forget the name of it. It's a reserveless card from, from one of the old sets there. 
Oh man, I have it. I'm forgetting the name. Key to the City. Another Chromatic Star. And Mishra's Command, the Gixian Skull Flare. All right, we have uh, four more packs here. See if we can get something else into the close. But I mean, this was a banger box overall. Definitely got our money back on this one for sure. Combat Thresher. Megatron. Nice. Flips into the tank. Beautiful. Sigil of Valor. And a Harbin Vanguard Aviator. Okay. Fyric Blast. Forest Dryad. For the token. Ashnod's Altar. This one sees some play. Siege Veteran. All right, two packs. Come on, let's see some craziness into the close. Maybe an Urza just to, you know, cap things off. Okay, another, uh, another Transformer. Slicer, Hired Muscle, which flips into... A, is that a taxi? No, it's just a kind of a, oh, it's like a Lamborghini convertible or something. Or no, uh, looks kind of like a Lamborghini SUV. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. Hostile negotiations. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Can we get this guy right here? Let's see. Okay. Pristine talisman. And a Tyrant. Great card and limited, but uh, not sure if it's seeing much play in Constructed. Alrighty, well, overall, great, great, great opening. Again, if you want to be entered to win the Arena Code, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, leave a comment below letting me know your favorite poll. If not, maybe still consider doing that just to help me out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.